Hello again everyone, Reggie Time here with another quick hand review of a hand I played during my morning session on Triple Eight. This is from the Triple Eight Snap Tables. Again we're using the card runners holder manager uh, sorry card runners replayer just to prevent me from revealing players screen names and stats because um it's probably not a nice thing to do that so we're doing it all as as anonymous as we can obviously we know who i am um the cutoff who's going to be involved in this hand was irregular don't know too much about him i had like close to 200 hands 22 17 moderately aggressive um so there we go that's the the read on the player let's take a look at at the spot so we're in the bottom with ace nine suited our opponent raises just a 2.2x on the cutoff um doesn't really mean very much i elect to three bet to 8x on the button which i think's again completely fine i guess we can go with calling here or three betting um obviously folding's out the question i usually three bet these types of hands in this spot like um my weaker suited aces stuff like that and our opponent makes a pretty small four bet to just about 20 blinds but given how deep we are um it's a pretty small four bet 100 blinds deep i don't mind sizing as much still think it's on the small side um even 100 blinds deep but i think given that we are starting the hand best part of 160 odd blinds deep and i think four bet into just 20 blinds is too small personally so i'm not a big fan of his sizing um and i think it gives us probably an easy call some of you guys might want a five bet here it's not really my cup of tea um i think it gives us a really easy call and let's just play some some flops and turns and what have you so i did call and we get a reasonable flop flop top pair which is always nice of course and um some backdoor stuff our opponent leads out for around what's that 15 blinds it's it's less than his pre-flop four bet which is pretty typical these days i don't read too much into that i frequently bet it's like smaller c bets and in three bet pots than my actual three bet was pre-flop um no issue with this sizing that is taken with pretty much his entire range um that wants to continue with the bet i mean not his entire range but all this all this range that wants to bet i, I think this sizing is completely fine um obviously we're going nowhere with our hand so we call and the turn brings a really interesting card. It gives us the nut flush draw and a gut shot. So by this point, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm quite liking this situation. And our opponent didn't take too long and then made like a another pretty sizable bet. It's 40 blinds now. Even though relative to the size of the pot, it's not a huge bet. It's whatever it is. It's just over half pot, I guess. Just slightly or maybe 60% pot, something like that. Um, it's not a huge bet in terms of percentage of the pot, but in terms of big blinds, and in these games in general, 40 big blind turn bets are big bets. Uh, so he makes what I consider to be quite a big turn bet um, for the situation. Well, not for the situation, but for the games. Typically, it's not something I expect to see too often, or something I don't see very often. It's not often we get in four bet pots this deep, of course, when we're in position with this type of spot. Um, but I thought his sizing was interesting. It, it felt on the large side. Even though we see in terms of stack depth and that, that percentage of pot is not large, 40 big blinds is a big turn bet in these games. I don't see them very often. Um, so it gives us like a pretty interesting situation now. Um, I mean, clearly folding is out of the question, but do we just call and maybe fold some rivers that don't improve us? Do we call and just not fold any rivers, which... I'm not sure that would be too great, but some of you guys might decide to do that just to like keep all these flush draws in the pot. It's like club flush draws, his worst spade draws if he's got a hand like, I don't know, 10-9 um, of, of spades. Well, some kind of spade draw that's worse than I was, or, or like a club draw. Um, who knows what, but do you call call to keep his draws in? Or do you raise now and try and make him fold a hand as strong as maybe ace ten, ace queen, ace jack? Don't think we're gonna get off ace king very often, but who knows, maybe they fold ace king. And then just like who knows what? Just just like jam now to make life easy for yourself. So yeah, this is a situation that, that you're in. Do you call and call most rivers? Do you call and fold most rivers unimproved? Or are you jamming? Or um 
are there any super nits out there and i am a consider myself a super nit but are there any super 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 nits out there that just prefer to fold in this spot so yep yeah, i think we've got quite a few options on this turn none of them are like really attractive but none of them are really hideous either um so yeah i thought it was quite an interesting spot and i thought you guys might enjoy looking at it and discussing it so let me know what you think if you've well, if you're liking these shorter hand review videos, please do hit the thumbs up. I'm getting some nice comments on, on the videos on Facebook and some other places, so I know they're going down well. Um, but if you can't bother to comment, but you do like them, please hit the thumbs up button. So we'll leave it there. Looking forward to hearing any feedback. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye for now.